Hi guys, let's have a look at how do I cut a shape from an image in Affinity Designer on the iPad version 2. Now this is suitable for the iPad or the desktop. And what it means, it's a very simple way of cutting a hole through an image. And let me show you how useful this is right at the end of the video. I'll show you a very practical use for it. Very short video. So start with a new document. Simply start with an A4 standard print sheet, which is what I did. But of course you can use any size that fits your project. The erase mode erases anything under the shape right back to the base. Now this is in a layer effects. To best see this effect, make your document transparent. Although it doesn't have to be, but this is to show it off in this exercise. And you can see here I've created an A4 document portrait mode with transparency. Now remember when you export a transparent background PNG it stays transparent. Now next place an image from the stock studio on the document. I've just dragged that picture of the girl out onto the A4 page. Very nice too. Now add a shape. Next drag out a small ellipse and position it over the girl's face where, or where you want it. And that's nice there because obviously I'm going to make this a portrait. Now, select the layer in the Layer Studio. Go to Layer Options and change its mode to Erase. You'll see the underlying transparent document appear. Goes right through to the base if you like. Base Metal. Fairly straightforward. Now, let's do something with this. Next, place an image of a train over the project. Same again from uh, Pixabay on the stock studio. I've just dragged a picture of a steam train in there. Very nice. You can see the layers there. Now, select the circle and drag it to the halfway position inside the train image in the top layer. So don't drag it up past it. Drag it so it's the blue line that indicates you're dragging. The blue line is halfway inside the image. And when you let it go, you can see that the cutout circle now acts as a mask. And you think, hmm, okay, well I can do that anyway. But this has some special effects. So let's have a look. You can, of course, move any component wherever you like by selecting the appropriate layer. Now you can see there I've moved the picture of the girl slightly off the screen a little bit, slightly to the right of the train and upwards <clears throat> by simply selecting it and moving it. Now, this little exercise is finished for now, this part of it, and it's entirely up to you how you use this option in your designs. And I strongly encourage you to experiment. But wait, there's more. Let's see what happens when we apply another erased circle. Its position in the layer hierarchy determines what shows. Here it cuts through all layers, because it's on the top and it erases right back to the base again. Very nice. Now what can I use this for, you wonder? Let me show you. Moving it to a position just above the first mask causes it to inherit that layer's attributes. So there's some of the girl, her arm, and some background just showing through. Of course, for this effect, that's not a very good option because <laughs> you've got to look at that to make sure, hmm, that is an arm, I think. Yes. Well, is it part of the girl? We don't know. But what I'm doing is moving the, um, the cutout around so you can see by where you place it how it's affected. Now, let's see. I've saved the original image that you were just looking at as a PNG file. Remember I said those cutouts in PNGs stay transparent? Export your cutout as a PNG. Now, because the ellipse is transparent, you can show yet another image below it. So I've created another image and placed my exported PNG over the top of it. And there's a sand dune in the circle behind the train image. And the girl is there, the train is there, the sand dunes behind it. Now, of course, if that's on a piece of art artboard, 
Well, they, they behave differently in art boards. Be careful of that. I shouldn't have said that. These cutouts behave differently when you use them in art boards. And we'll explore that at a later date. But for now, if that picture of the desert was the same size as the train picture and behind it, then you'd see just the desert through that circle. Very clever. What else can you do with it? Well, experiment. Now there's an interesting experiment. This is in designer, remember, and you can have see-through text. Print your text along there as much as you like. Very pretty, lovely font, and not quite bold enough, but you can see the desert skyline just through there and the top of a sand dune. So if you're emphasizing something and you've got a banner, for example, across the top of it, something maybe a bit better than just a white banner with text on it, but you can see the background through the text. Very nice. Now that's about all there is to it, folks. I hope you've gained some evidence from this. I did a video on this very subject at the beginning of last year, February, I think, um, January, February, 21. Now, I didn't go into a great deal of explanation in that, but in this one, I have. So I hope you found it even more useful. So, my friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you do. And click on the thumbs up to like the video. This is an easy way for me to count how many people like the video. Very useful. And what's that at the bottom? That's a link to Envato Elements. If you want thousands of things to do, Envato Elements have the biggest range I've ever seen. Very useful.